taking European defense cooperation to the next level, prospects for the decade ahead, is the title of this year's conference, coming at the very beginning of a new institutional cycle and three years into what many call the biggest ever leap in European defense cooperation. Three years after the EU global strategy and the subsequent launch of the major EU defense initiative, a revised capability development plan, the coordinated annual review on defense, the permanent structure of cooperation and the European Defense Fund. Now is the right time to take stock of the implementation of these tools and to assess the future prospects. The European Defense Agency, as you know, plays a central role in the implementation of the new tools and will continue to do so. And even though much has been achieved over the last years, even more needs to be done. In June this year, the European Council set four priorities as part of the strategic agenda for the next five years. One priority is protecting citizens and freedoms, while the other is promoting Europe's interests and values in the world. And clearly both are closely linked to defense and to our capacity to act autonomously. And central to all these efforts will be how EU defense initiatives will be embedded in national processes. To fulfill the EU's heightened ambition in security and defense, we also need the technological and industrial base to underpin it. Our mission at EDA is clear, support our member states. It is a mission that drives our daily work and shapes how we make EU defense initiatives a reality.